Good evening, everyone. President Obama addressed the nation today outlining a new plan to get tough on gun violence. He's asking a team led by Vice President Joe Biden to offer concrete proposals to curb gun violence no later than January. After that, he will push legislation through quickly, he says. He's also urging Congress to hold votes on the bill. This is not some Washington commission. This is not something where folks are going to be studying the issue for six months and publishing a report that gets read and then pushed aside. New at 6 gun sales have skyrocketed since Friday's shooting at Sandy Hook. And Nicole Collier has more on that. Bullets shot from guns just like these, a Six Hour, a Glock, and an assault rifle were used by an assailant who stormed Sandy Hook Elementary in Connecticut and took the lives of 26 people, most of them first graders last Friday. I felt for the, next, the two days afterwards, you know, we just couldn't function. It was brought to tears out of nowhere. As people across the nation clutched their children a little tighter in the days after tragedy, gun experts say people also went to grab more guns before legislation cracking down could be announced. Ryan Nadolny was one of them. Uh, we went on Sunday afternoon. It was packed. Uh, everybody in, uh, was out looking to buy a gun, um, everything from pistols to uh, shotguns and even rifles. Sales of weapons themselves weren't the only things on the rise in light of the shootings. After the shooting, my phone ran off the hook uh, this past Friday. Uh, people not only booking classes, but strangely enough, buying gift certificates for their friends and families, thinking they need the opportunity to be able to defend themselves. Tom Urbanski is the biggest CCW instructor in the area. As of Sunday, he's taught nearly 3,000 students how to carry Quickly safely. He says one of the reasons people are running to get armed and learn in a hurry is Other because they're afraid of what changes may come. But he says the fear of the president taking guns away is not a legitimate one. The only way you're going to solve this is to go into a meeting knowing ahead of time that the guns will be available. Now, how do we deal with that? Do we arm the teachers? Do we pay extra money to have a police officer standing in front of every school? The FBI director says there are upwards of 280 million guns in the hands of people right here in the U.S. right now. If you want to hear more from our gun expert, you can check out my full interview with him on ToledoNewsNow.com. Reporting live, I'm Nicole Collier. The National Rifle Association has scheduled a news conference for Friday. The group said it wants to give families time to mourn before making public statements on the issue. Ohio's